Everyone loves to see a house that is decorated for Christmas with Christmas lights and Christmas figurines. There is, however, a lot of work that goes into decorating a house for Christmas, especially in Trinidad. Often the Christmas decorating stretches over several days. While I do most of the stringing of the Christmas lights, I'm lucky that I have friends who come and assist me, especially with the roof climbing. This year, I also have family members who are coming to help. So come along with me and see how we decorated the house. Most of us cannot afford to buy new Christmas lights and decorations each year. So to be able to decorate for Christmas requires carefully storing the lights and figurines after Christmas. In my home, all types of spaces are used for storage. Another aspect of Christmas decorating is to look for and buy at sales on Christmas decorations, especially the after Christmas sales, and then store these lights and decorations for use during the next Christmas. When doing Christmas decorations, you sometimes have to repurpose existing furniture. This, for example, will become one of the bases for the miniature Christmas village that I plan to erect. This other piece will become the site for the creche that I plan to put up. You may have noticed that both this piece of furniture and the other piece are in fact repurposed items having originally been Singer sewing machines. Well, the preparation continues. Time to test uh, the reindeer to see if the lights work. I do have some newer reindeer. And these are older ones. A bit rusted, but at night, once the lights are lit up, you don't really notice. It would seem that uh, on this one, the lights are not working. It's not a problem. It simply means that I have to restring and put new lights on them. Oops, now time to test the other one here. See if this one is working right as well or not. Oh boy, I have a lot of work to do this year. Looks like I have to restring this one as well. One more to go. This I think is the oldest in the lot. But from the looks of things, I doubt that the lights are working. But let's see. Ah! Oh no, what went wrong there? Well, some are working. One set at least is working. And this one. Now this had two sets of lights. There's the other plug. But oh, yeah, both plug is bad. there's a problem with the plug on this one it means I have to restring that part so all parts are preparing for Christmas just takes a little while to take off the lights and just simply use I use just ordinary regular Christmas tree light bulbs and use wire to attach them onto the frame following a pattern so I have some work this afternoon and possibly tomorrow afternoon to restring them. Just another piece of the Christmas preparation. So I've finished stripping off the lights from the first reindeer and I've actually selected 
the new lights that I'm going to put on on, on this ring there. Uh, this set gives me a choice of having it solid or flashing um, and flashing at different rates. Uh. So these are the lights that I'm going to now restring this ring there with. Some may say, why bother to go through all that time and effort? Why not just simply go out and buy new reindeer? I could, and as I said earlier, I have some new reindeer inside. But I suppose if you're like me, and you're retired now, despite whatever your pension might be and how good your other investments could be, you learn the value of making things last and stretching the money as far as possible. So restringing with new lights is a lot cheaper than going out to buy a completely new reindeer. And at night, no one can see that the reindeer is old, like me. What they see is the shape of the reindeer with the lights. So I'm gonna start the task of restringing. I'll show you what it looks like after I've finished. So I've finished restringing the reindeer and now it's time to see how well it looks. I actually finished it a lot earlier, but then I went out to shoot video of houses for my other video, Trinidad Christmas Houses 2022. And it's now night and I've now come back. So let's see if how my stringing of the reindeer looks. Okay, it's lit up. Uh, let me move position and see if I can show you um, the completed product. Okay, so this is the finished rain there. Not bad. As I said, in the night, you don't really see um, the rusted parts. Let me add to this. Um, tomorrow, if I can get a short string, I think I want to add some red on the head. But this is what it looks like and tomorrow afternoon i'll do work on the other two that you see in the background in the back well the day for putting up the decorations has finally arrived i've pulled out from the various storage points all the decorations that i'm going to use it's not all that i have but this is what i'm using this year so I've pulled out um, all the outdoor decorations. The indoor ones will come out later this week. And now, it's just waiting for this afternoon because I have two special little helpers coming to help me today. So when my two little helpers come, plus the other friends, then we'll start. And I'll show you the two little helpers.
one more. Let's go. Ah, yes, yes, yes. They had broke the wall, we can say. Okay. Hey, bag. Meanwhile, my friends have started helping me put up the other decorations. If you like the content, please share this video.
I need some more light on this. While it is possible to put up Christmas decorations by yourself, it is always easier to do it if you have friends and family helping you. If you like the content, please share this video. We have stopped for the evening. Now it is time to relax, chat and have some liquid refreshments. This is not the end of the decorating as we still have many other decorations to put up but that will be done over the next few days. If you want to see the finished house look out for my Trinidad Christmas Houses 2022 video. You can also see other Christmas videos that are appearing on your screen now.